What's up guys, welcome back to the show, go back to another video. And in today's video, um, we are working on the headlights. We're gonna be trying to restore this car as much as we can. Because as you guys know, uh, soon as we finish up the daily, I mean, the thing is, are we gonna have time to finish the daily if we get a new build on the channel? I feel like once we get a new build on the channel, I'm not gonna be messing with the daily as much because it's just gonna be a daily. So I figured in the meantime, I'm gonna try to fix as much things on this car as possible to make it the ultimate daily. That being said guys, uh, honestly, I've been noticing that whoever that painted this bumper is just like I literally peeled this off like it was tape like it's crazy let me try to see if I can show you guys but like literally this paint is like what what is this dude that's not the primary focus of today's video I'm gonna have the front bumper probably repainted with the mirror caps and with the rear bumper when it's repaired painted I want the whole car to be painted we'll do a buff polish and then probably a ceramic coat but in the meantime the last thing I really want to work on is these headlights so that's what I want to do in today's video I'm gonna try to get these headlights out and restore them now the problem is that these are aftermarket so there's a good chance of some other weird wiring there's a couple weird things that are in here that it's gonna make it even harder and I've never even done this job before I've heard actually removing lenses is not the easiest thing in the world I went ahead order the lenses I ordered the the glue the 3m to put everything back together it's gonna be tough but I feel like we should do it and at the same time I did get new halo rings or new um daytime ring lights for both sides that one's out so when we have both headlights out we could just put the new bulb in there uh, replace the lenses put it all in there I think it'll be so sick we'll get to these in a little bit right now I actually want to head down to another co part check out some more cards as you guys know we're looking for a new build on the channel and uh, I was figuring might as well check out some that's new like the G30 there are some G30s G20s you know the 5 series and the 3 series the new cars I was looking at the new X3s and I was like you know what whatever that comes up for a good deal we'll hit it up first and Antelope just got one that's actually very minor damage and we could possibly get it for a really good deal so I'm gonna go check it out right now if it's a very minor damage you might have to put a bit on And guys, we're back in the car. So uh, yeah, I checked out the 330i. I mean, I don't know what to say. I think, I don't know what's going on with me. Like recently with totaled cars, like I don't know if just all cars have been bad or I've been just really lucky when I first done the first couple of rebuilds. But this one, the picture, I'm gonna throw up a picture right now of how the car actually looks. It doesn't look that bad, like I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, when you actually open up the trunk, the frame of the trunk is pushed in pretty severely. Um, and I don't understand how it got in that deep when the trunk didn't actually go in that deep. So um, anyhow, so I looked at it and I was like, you know what, probably looking at, like probably at least con considering how much the framework costs on the M3, that, that's probably gonna cost me, I'd say 15 to 2K for that job. And then obviously a new trunk, a new bumper, new tail lights, um, bumper the cheapest on like if I was like 800 bucks, the truck, the cheapest one is like a thousand plus shipping. And then as far as the tail lights, like six, it's like 400 bucks, nothing crazy on the tail light, but still a lot of money, but nothing crazy for almost a 20, almost a brand new car. And then also what I didn't notice in the pictures was the two current airbags are deployed. So those are also deployed. So honestly, if I add it all up, they want 23 buy it now. They go for about 32 clean title. Um, so I was like 23 out the door with fees, probably looking at 25. Um, and then obviously we're already like seven grand away from a clean title right there without even doing the repairs and then it probably needs at least another honestly like four G's or five G's in repairs so it's a hard pass on this one I wanted to come down here and check it out if it was just a bumper and trunk I would have definitely hopped on this just mainly because the G the G20 is a new platform and I honestly really love the interior in those cars I've heard they get great fuel economy they drive amazing and I, they have a lot of compatibility in terms of bolt-ons tunes and um, M Sport kits are already out there for that car already so uh, just a car I was kind of looking at 
looking at. Again, I'm just kind of keeping my scope open, open to any ideas. Um, that car honestly made me think like, guys, do you guys like the G30? Should we just go to a dealership, get a G30? I'm mean, a G30, a G20, and then modify the heck out of it, make it look absolutely insane. Possibly even like the 435, make it look crazy. Um, because I'd rather get a clean title, something that's really, really, really nice, low mileage, and just like a base model. And then we just do a bunch of retrofits, make it look great. If that's something you guys think would be pretty sick, let me know down below. Um, I don't know yet. It's just kind of like an idea that's out there. But anywho, while we're down in that area, literally, I don't know if you guys can see that yellow stripe on that building right there. Uh, that's pick and pull. So I'm gonna head down there, um, cross the street, and see if we can find any cheap parts for the for the new daily. If you guys know what I mean. guys i just got out of pickleball it's so hot out there yeah nothing for bmw is literally nothing so at least we tried it let's just head home and uh just start working on these headlights i might even grab something to eat honestly i'm kind of hungry about a few hours later we are back home and we're doing a job that honestly I've been trying not to do I'm not gonna lie because honestly this does not look fun but you guys can see how worn out it is this one's so much more yellow than that one and I don't know if you guys can see up close how messed up this thing is this thing is super messed up and actually it's really hot right now too and I think that's the reason why these lenses went bad in the first place is because these LEDs within the headlight um, they melted or something so these new lenses that I'm probably gonna put on the car won't last me longer than maybe two years max because he told me he started noticing like issues um like a year or two i think after he got the car or after he upgraded the headlights at least but i mean if we can get a year or two with good looking headlights i think that's pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and replace some i actually got new lenses um from i believe ebay for like i think i paid a little under 60 bucks for both of these and then i went on amazon and i got this guy right here which is automotive uh reseal or whatever so um this is from my brother's car we did when we did his first headlight light on his first E92 four years ago and then I went ahead and ordered a new one as well just because we need it but yeah this is what I'm gonna need to actually reseal it both now these are aftermarket so there's probably gonna be some extra wiring but I mean I again I hope I hope it goes smooth so wish me luck guys without further ado let's go ahead and rip off this front bumper because that's the first thing that needs to come off guys so i noticed it had all this extra wiring that was connected inside the headlight and actually that can cause some water intrusion as well because it is causing a little bit of a gap so condensation can build up um so i'm actually going to completely remove this i believe this is for like uh the, de the devil eyes or something to where you can change the color of the leds in the inside i don't even have the app and i honestly don't care for it i like the white and uh, I just went ahead and plugged in the headlight after disconnecting all the wires from this one and it still looks like everything works perfectly fine. So that's all that matters. I honestly just want the, uh, just that. that. That looks good to me. And thankfully for this to function, it's all internal. Nothing else from the outside. So it looks like an OEM headlight as well, which looks so, so, so good. No extra wiring. I hated all this wiring over here in this engine bay. It just looked so, honestly, to me, that just looks super tacky. So I'm super happy that's out of the way. So anyways, now that we tested that, we're good to go now. Let's go ahead and put both these headlights on the bench. And it's gonna be the first time ever, guys, trying to actually remove the lens. So I've actually watched quite a bit of videos uh, on how to actually do this. Some people say put it in the oven. Other people are like, uh, just, just use a heat gun. I'm actually gonna try the heat gun method first. I'm really hoping this is not gonna be as hard to remove just because um, this has been removed before. So this probably doesn't have the OEM glue, which is probably the strongest glue, honestly. So, so again, I'm just hoping this is gonna be kind of easy to remove without actually using uh, the oven.
Now I think what made this super easy is that my headlights were really, really, really hot and literally this came off like cake. Like it was pretty much, it was pretty much already in the oven by just being on the car and being in use. Um, these are aftermarket headlights so I think I just got kind of lucky. Thank the Lord because this is my first time doing it and if I can at least get the gist of it this time, the next time on OEM ones, I'd be a little bit more uh, comfortable doing it. Um, so yes guys, so this was actually good to go. Now before actually working on this and actually cleaning up all the glue, I actually want to start working on that one while it's still hot. I want to get that lens off. She got both lenses out. Let's go ahead and work on the first one first um, and just try to remove all this inner stuff and transfer it over to our new lens. There is a lot of things in here that looks like it was taped in here. I'm hoping that's gonna be easy to pull out. If not, we're just gonna have to tape it onto the new one. All right, guys, so I got off as much as I can in terms of glue. You really can't get all of it off, but just try to make sure you get off the edge portions right here. This is the toughest parts is the edges. Uh, these straightaways are very easy. You just put the flathead straight against it. It's just all these edges are super hard to get, but I think I got, but I think I got pretty much as much glue as I could. I probably can get a little bit more out of here right now. I'll probably do that. But then after that, guys, it's time to apply the new seal. I am so, so, so stoked to see this on there. Alright guys, I finally got all the tabs in place, literally just heated it up and kept on pressuring it in until I got the tabs to click. And moment of truth guys, you guys saw that before, it was absolutely terrible. And here is the after. Woo buddy! <laughs> Should I put these on the M3? These just look too good for the 328. Oh my god. This looks so good, dude. Wow, I did such a good job too. Like I'm really, I'm really impressed with myself. That's the crazy thing about life, guys. You guys can literally do anything you put your minds to. That is crazy. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but I did it. Oh, that looks so good, dude. All right, guys, that's one down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that one. So three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, so finally we got both headlights back together. So the good news is that this one honestly went together 100% perfectly. That was my first one. My second one, because uh, obviously I thought that they just go together super easily. I don't know if you guys can notice that inner ring right there, but it fell down right when I finished the whole headlight, resealed it. Um, so as of right now, I'm just gonna plug them both in to see if everything works. If they don't work, um, I'll take it back apart, uh, you know, cause that's actually important. If they both work and that little thing is just a little bit sagging, I mean, for my first time, guys, I'm pretty happy with it. I really don't wanna open it back up, but I mean, guys, that looks so much better. Let's just throw them in and hopefully, hopefully they both work. Again, my first time ever doing this and they both look great. Guys, we got everything reassembled, but just look 
how bad this paint job is. Guys, look, look, oh my God. Like, what is this, dude? It feels like I'm peeling off wrap. That's how bad of a paint job this is. Um, I'm probably gonna be taking this car to get painted next. I want the front bumper painted, the rear bumper painted, the mirror caps painted, full polish, ceramic coat and everything, guys. I'm so happy I did that, I'm so proud of myself. Now the moment of truth is, do they work? Because if they don't, uh, what a fail. Sheesh, I am nervous. I don't know why, but I like to only test things out when I'm 100% done, just so when it's actually, like if everything's gravy in the Navy, I'm done. I'm like so proud of myself. I get to go inside, get a drink, you know, celebrate, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, where is the keys? It's right over here. I need to clean up the garage, but let's get it from this angle first because sheesh. Three, two, one. Please, 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 please. Oh no, dude. Okay, okay, I see some power. Why isn't it lighting up? Did I kill the LEDs? Oh no, dude. Let me keep playing with this. I don't know what's going on, but normally it's supposed to just, oh, there you go, big boys. <laughs> oh my God, dude, those are so bright. Those are so nice, dude. Oh my God. Definitely worth the time. Definitely worth the time. Wow. If you guys' lenses look awful, you guys have to do this upgrade. Like, my God, dude, those look so good. And something I just realized I forgot to put in the bulb. I believe it's this side. So, um, probably not today, but another day, another video. But if you guys think they look great, make sure to smash the like button because I'm so stoked on how this came out. I mean, guys, this daily is really coming together. Like, those headlights are so, so, so sick. Once that bumper gets paint matched, once those mirror caps get paint matched, and this rear M Sport bumper gets fixed up, filled in, and paint matched, <laughs> this car is gonna look wild. Not to mention, don't forget all the M3 upgrades we did to this interior. This looks crazy. Guys, I haven't had any issues with this car and I still haven't done the oil change yet. I've ordered a full maintenance kit from FCP here. I'm just waiting for that to come in. Once that comes in, we're gonna be doing spark plugs, ignition coils, um, uh, oil change, uh, what's it called, brake fluids. We're gonna do everything, mainly because, again, like this is my new daily. I want everything to make sure it works properly and make sure everything's up to date. Even, if, I think I've got a cowl filter right over there as well. So we have a new cowl filter, um, everything. So hopefully once everything gets here, we're gonna be doing a full tune-up on this thing I'm so excited to do it because I'm just gonna be enjoying this car in the background of the videos um, while we actually get new builds on the channel I just want a functioning daily which is exactly what this is and I want something that looks good because I mean like every daily I don't want it to be just like a Civic or something I want it to be something that I truly enjoy and something that I'm proud of that even when I go out it's actually something that represents my work and that is an important thing in a daily anyways if you guys think this 328 is coming together and you guys like the way that it's coming together make sure to smash the like button without further ado guys I love you all so much Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.